We are just essay. This is High Priestess Ashodhara Singh. Welcome, number seven. For those of you born on the seventh, the twenty-fifth, the sixteenth, please add up your date of birth, not the month or the year. And if your date of birth adds up to a number seven, you're in the right place because this video covers the predictions for the month of March, twenty twenty-four. The central theme of the month is described with the help of three cards from three different decks. We have the Angel deck. We're using this as the central theme card for this month only. The chakra deck and the akashic oracle the four weeks in a month are described with the help of four cards from four different decks you have the golden wheel the wicker deck the gilded tarot and the dragon deck all right let me show you number seven what you've pulled out as a central theme you've pulled out the four of roses views of the ego the world card of archangel michael and the card of creation so uh, when we speak about views of the ego, um, this month, number seven, it will be uh, quite decisive how you are handling your ego. We all should have a healthy amount of ego, but there are times when our ego gets the better of us, right? So situations will be created in pockets where you will be tested. Are you bringing your ego into the situation or are you being practical and pragmatic about it are you thinking about this in terms of how will it what kind of light is this situation going to reflect on me if i react like this okay uh, so you will have to make sure that your ego remains in check that's very very important so uh, do ensure that you uh, display a healthy amount of ego but don't go overboard in terms of you know i don't want to say narcissism i don't want to say you know thinking about yourself in a manipulative way but there's definitely a, an ego play situation that's going to arise and you will be tested and uh, well that's your lesson for march right so archangel michael is here to say that you have done a job very well it seems you are uh, don't forget to be to congratulate yourself don't forget uh, to feel that level of contentment even though it is temporary and don't forget to express gratitude Having said that, the world card also means this is the end of a cycle or the beginning of one in your life. And this card also means that uh, karmically, uh, there might be some baggage that you may have accumulated knowingly or unknowingly. So you need to have that baggage released. Get in touch with us or find um, a trust, a place that you trust where you can have this done. Okay, your karmic baggage to be released. Um, the card of creation is a card that means that uh, you need to ensure that the creative streak in you, that part of you which is creative, has to be nurtured. If you have any ideas, just thinking about it may not be enough in the month of March. You will have to make it, um, write it down, uh, see it a couple of times, you know, be a little more proactive in terms of your ideas. Because remember, when you have an idea, it is being shown to you for a reason. You practice the choice of whether you want to do something about it or not. That's up to you. Okay. All right. The first week of March 2024, number seven, you've pulled out the judgment card, the ten of coins or the ten of pentacles, the seven of coins or the seven of pentacles and the chariot card. So the judgment card is a pure karma card. So there's definitely some karmic baggage. Number seven, you need to figure out uh, what to do about it. We do karmic baggage releases on Saturday and Sunday over the weekend um we do dragon spells but uh your you know it's your choice of course but have it taken care of because not releasing karmic baggage will not let you achieve uh, what you want big or small doesn't matter and when i say karmic baggage uh, it doesn't mean that you're not you know if you say no i'm being nice to everybody sometimes these things happen unknowingly you had your boss asked you to uh, ask someone to not come from tomorrow because you know they are no longer required to work so this wasn't something that you did you just listened to what your boss said but you are the one who committed the act therefore it is your karma not just your bosses so just citing an example okay just giving you a situation um similarly if you are thinking about everyone else but keeping yourself in the back burner that's bad karma right um not following blue magic rules bad karma so you never know where you've accumulated it from but it's already there, so get rid of it, right? And we do karmic baggage releases, which are annual, by the way. So every year is when we do a karmic baggage release for every human being. That's how it works. This card 
the next one ten of coins ten of pentacles this is the one that we use a lot in spell casting um so here we are talking about you being financially uh quite well off doing quite well and this is the vibe that you have your financial vibe is really really good and uh, this is what you should match if you don't again get in touch or figure out why is it how you're talking to yourself are you using positive words on yourself or are you saying no no i don't have enough or no no you know when i get this much and i'll do that and are you expressing gratitude for what you have are you uh, making sure your vibes are high enough to attract more positive financial opportunities for you so just figure that out okay seven of coins seven of pentacles this card tells me that you are thinking about increasing your savings it looks like you may have dipped into your savings and pulled out something uh, uh, you know a um, few grands or you know just to pay off something maybe bills or to buy something or to invest in something and now you're thinking about how it, you want to bring it up to what it used to be or maybe increasing it perhaps for future investment the chariot card tells me that you could be a cancerian or dealing with one this card also says that the yin and the yang the active and the um and the passive the the masculine and the feminine within you okay has to be balanced so if you are thinking about forward progression in your life in a particular situation then yes it is definitely possible because that's what this card is saying but you need to be uh sure that this balance that you're working on is something that you uh you know follow through and not cut corners in for example um if you have to submit a project right you have to ensure that the that all the loose ends are uh, tied up not hope that the boss doesn't see the small errors that you have started noticing because that will compound get it so i'm just giving an given example there could be other uh, situations and aspects also you need to have a look at but if this card is come it says yes you will have forward movement in your life in the situation that you're that you are concerned about right now and thinking about right now but you want to make sure that the um both the aspects the masculine and the feminine aspects are handled right don't be over involved don't be too passionate about it uh learn when to use your head learn when to use your heart so on and so forth okay all right number 7 the second week of uh, march 2024 you've pulled out the justice card the two of wands the temperance card and the star card <clears throat> you definitely have the blessings of the angels for the month of march so the justice card tells me that you could be a libra or dealing with one this card also means that you need to uh, look at the law of the land in terms of have you paid your taxes do you have, you know if you don't do it now then you may have fines to pay later so you need to pay a little more attention to that if there are court uh, proceedings litigations that you're involved in then they will either start now or they will end now whatever it is it will work in your favor okay the next card is the 2 of wands so it looks like you already have something in your hand and you know that it is a good thing and now you're working on it and making it bigger brighter better and then you want to show it to the world um you're quite confident about it which is great of course you also might be planning a trip by the water um this is a very good creative card keep working on it keep you know keep making that sculpture keep working on that project keep working on that painting keep working on that idea and you will definitely eventually get somewhere because it's a this is a very very good card for you if you if you're a creative person or you're in a creative project or in a creative field the temperance card tells me it could be a sagittarian or dealing with one this card is one of the cards that i respect a lot because it talks about balance so there is something that's off balance in your life and you need to get it back into balance maybe you're working too hard maybe you're thinking too much maybe you are not resting enough maybe you uh, are double checking too much and then causing uh, doubts and insecurities in your own mind um, maybe you're listening to other people more than listening to your gut um, whatever it is you need to figure out what it is and then fix it right the star card tells me you could be an aquarian or dealing with one this card also says that in a situation where you feel like all hope is lost guess what it's not there are still elements of hope that you need to latch on to and use it as fuel to move forward propel yourself forward this card is also considered to be a karmic card so there's a lot of you know cards that are related to karma that are 
popping up in your uh, reading here and there number seven i would highly recommend that you either have a reading done or you have your karmic package released all right the third week of uh, march 2024 number seven you pulled out the five of coins the five of pentacles the three of wands the eight of cups and the ten of wands so the five of coins is what i was talking uh, to you earlier about if you remember you pulled out ten of coins in the previous week and i told you that maybe you are not talking to yourself as well as you should in terms of money uh, five of coins essentially is a card of poverty thinking so you're thinking about um, not having enough and wanting more right um, now if your outflow cash outflow is more than your cash inflow then again that's a disbalance you need to work on so again that's where the temperance card comes in so you see everything is interlinked here you need to either have a spell done or you need to tell yourself listen if i if my needs are more than what i'm making i need to either cut down on my needs because i, I shouldn't bite off more than i can chew um you know um or i need to increase my increase my uh, income and that is how your the creative aspect of you will start churning new ideas right so remember when you want to build a life that you really want for yourself you will have to be proactive with the ideas that you have and then of course don't forget to implement them but get out of this situation because five of coins is a very low vibe and you don't want to attract more experiences like that in your life three of wands so it looks like you already know what you want to do but still you are static uh, you are thinking about whether you should or shouldn't make a move uh, i would highly advise you to before the universe takes a call for you of course you also might be planning a trip by the water the eight of cups tells me that looks like you've grown uh, away from something you're moving away from something because something that was of interest to you earlier doesn't interest you anymore um, a lot of cards water cards so it's quite possible that you might be planning a trip by the water uh, it's, not a, it's a good idea just make sure it's the right time um, and uh, it's all right if you're disinterested because uh, we all grow either away from something or towards something and it's all part of our life's journey okay so don't beat yourself up on it and the ten of wands looks like you're working very very hard maybe to meet uh, the deadline for a project maybe you want to achieve an aim maybe you've given yourself a deadline um, and it looks like you're burning the midnight lamp and that's very good uh, but having said that make sure that it's been done for all the right reasons don't forget to rest looks like you're stressing yourself out for uh, uh, because of this and also make sure that you're not doing this because you want to avoid all the other stuff that you need to prioritize um, sleep on time rest on time keep yourself hydrated okay all right and the last week of march 2024 number seven you've pulled out the nine of wands the chariot card has come again the eight of swords has come twice interesting so well uh, the chariot card has come for the second time so it looks like balance does play an important role in your month this um, march number seven so do uh, give it a nice long thought as to what you can do to fix that right and it's come twice which means you need to sit up and take notice the eight of swords has come twice which means that you feel trapped in a situation and you feel like uh, you can't do anything about it you're feeling practically paralyzed and you don't you you don't know what to do next you're completely helpless hey listen um till you're breathing you always have a choice that's number one number two if you need clarity and direction my advice to you would be get a reading done if not from my panel of readers then someone you trust um and of course we do have uh, spells for clarity and direction but be proactive in this by thinking about oh my god i can't do anything i can't make a move you're not being proactive you're creating more stress you're, you're bringing your vibration down and when you bring your vibration down the frequency goes down and when that goes down the experiences that come towards you are also low vibes and you don't want that right so you, you're just making us you're just digging your own grave instead if you change your perception and say you know what i'm going to snap out of this this is not happening i'm not surrounded by uh, swords and downfall i'm surrounded by opportunities i need to open my eyes wide and i need to have faith in myself maybe that'll just work right i hope it does and the last card the nine of wands is here to say 
that uh, you have been taking a stand for a very long time now you're exhausted you can't you can barely stand straight um, you're wondering how long is it going to take because you're literally at the end of your tether please tell yourself you haven't come this far to give up number one number two help and hope is right around the corner so please don't give up all right so interesting month march for you uh number seven i will see you in the month of april take care of yourselves until then love light and knowledge to you all be at his essay and om sarve bhavantu sukhina